let's write equation of these uh, this graph which is a sine or a cosine graph now if you generally you will be given the maximum or minimum in this type of situation so we know the maximum and minimum the coordinates of maximum minima we know the maximum is at 0.510 and the minimum is 1.53 so let's write what's the maximum I'm talking about the y uh, coordinate so the maximum well is 10 maximum is 10 and the minimum is 3 so from the maximum minimum you can find two facts which is the baseline and the amplitude the baseline is the average of this two so which is 13 divided by 2 which is 6.5 and the amplitude is the distance from the baseline to the maximum or the distance from the baseline to the minimum so from baseline 6.5 to maximum that is 3.5 or from the minimum to the baseline 3 plus <coughs> 3 to 6.5 is also 3.5 so the amplitude is 3.5 the next thing we need to do is to find the period the period you find from the x coordinates maximum minimum you write the y coordinate and for minimum sorry for period you take the x coordinate so the maximum is when x coordinate is 0.5 and this is 1.4 so this is half the cycle or half the period so this distance is 0.9 so the full cycle <coughs> is from the maximum to the maximum so the distance from the maximum to the minimum is half the cycle so the full cycle or full period would be 1.8 and the final thing that you have to decide is where you want to start so we want to start let's say the starting point is at 0 0.5 if the starting point is maxima which is a maximum in this case it's a positive cos graph this implies the graph the type of graph is going to be positive cos and if the starting point is say 1.4 we're going to write both the equation if the starting point is 1.4 which is minimum it's again cos, cos graph but it's going to be a negative cos graph minus cos so let me write the general equation of a sine or a cos graph the equation is like this y is equal to we're going to focus only on the cos graph because in most of the situations you're going to be given the maximum or the minimum so the equation is like this it's amplitude times the type of graph so it can be plus or minus cos times 360 divided by the period 360 divided by the period times x minus the starting point close the bracket plus the baseline so if you know this formula you can write any equation any trig equation which is based on sine or cos so let me write the equation so y so let's write with 0 0.5 as the starting point so it should be a positive cos graph so the amplitude is 3.5 times cos times 360 divided by 1.8 you can do that on a calculator Three, 360 divided by 1.8 is 3600 divided by 118 which is 200 so this is 200 times x minus your starting point is 0 0.5 plus the baseline which is 6.5 or it can also be if you're starting at minimum it will be negative cos graph so this would be minus 3.5 cos because minus is because it's a negative cos graph the rest would remain the same 200 times you no know, the rest would change of course the starting point is different 
minus 1.4 plus 6.5. So let me show this on a calculator. Both these equations are one and the same equation. So let me get my graphic calculator out. Yeah, I already typed that equation. Okay, so let me delete this. I already checked it. So, so let me show you the equation hopefully yeah so this is three now before you do that we need to confirm whether let me exit and go to your setup and see whether it's in degrees the first thing that you need to do is check this and then type in the equation which is 3.5 slightly drag it up cos bracket 2 100 bracket x minus 0.5 you have to put two brackets plus 6.5 I think I've said the scale and then draw it to look at it to confirm the scale what you do is you I've gone from 0 to you can go from 0 to 3 because one cycle will finish this is 0.91 you can go up to 1.8 I've gone up to 3 at this uh, execute say 0.2 and then yeah maximum from Y I've gone from 0 to 11 execute and then draw it and then go GSOL maxima at 0 0.510 and GSOL minimum so let me type in this equation for to type in this equation, I have to just change this to minus and scroll this to to 1.4. I have to make it. Let me one point delete and make it 1.4 and see whether you're getting the same graph. The same graph, G sol maximum, G sol minimum. Okay. So let's do one more equation, one more graph. So here we'll do this faster now. So we got the maximum. The maximum is how much? 300. The minimum is? The minimum is 120. So the average, if you add them up, it's 420. So the baseline is half of 420, which is 210. So your amplitude is 90. You can confirm like this, 210 plus 90 is 300. The period, okay, now to, to find the period, it is half the cycle. So this distance is 0 0.2, sorry, this distance is 2 and 8, 10. So half the period is 10, so full period is 20. And let's start at the starting point is let's start at uh, negative two. At negative two, it's maximum. Negative two is maximum, so that's going to be a positive cos graph. And if your starting point is say eight, you're starting at minimum. You're starting at minimum, and then it will be a negative cos graph. So let's write the equation. So y, uh, e, so let me write it on this side so that we can see the equation. So y is equal to the amplitude. Amplitude is 90 cos, positive cos, because we're starting at maximum. 360 divided by 20 is how much? 18, isn't it? So this is 18 times x minus the starting point minus negative 2 plus the baseline which is 210 so this will become plus so I'm writing the second equation so y would be 90 to be minus 90 cos 18 times x minus 8 close the bracket plus 
210. So we'll type in the same equation on the calculator and see whether it works. So we need to change the scale from 0 to, so I'll go from 0, uh, this is 8, and again if you go 10, so this will be 18, isn't it? So this point, so this is half the cycle is 10, so again if you go half the cycle, it will go 10, so this coordinate has to be 18, 300. So on x-axis I'll go from 0 to 20, and y-axis I'll go from 0 to 300. So first let me change the scale, shift from 0 to 20, and scale of 2 would do, and on y I'll go from 0 to 320, scale of 20 would do. And type in the equation, which is 90 cos bracket 18 bracket x minus minus 2, close the bracket, one more bracket, plus 210. Hopefully it will work. Here we go. So I'll go from, say, on x-axis, I should have gone from, say, minus 3. Okay, and then you can see, so this is maximum, so maximum should be at minus 2, 300. And if you go, if you press this key, the next maximum is 8, 300, and JSOL minimum, 8, 120. So let me change this to minus 90, and the starting point is, let me delete this one delete and make it 8 and delete the 2 and see whether I'm getting the same graph. Here we get the same graph. So G sol maximum minus 2 300 and if you press this this is 18 300 and G sol minimum. So this way you can draw your same graph. I'm just making up one graph. For those who are interested, try to write the equation of this graph. So let me make up one equation, say. Okay, and here, say, let's say this is, this is, this point and this point. This point is, say, phi comma 10, phi comma 10, and this point is minus 3 comma 50. How will you write the equation? So you've got this maximum and this minimum. From this, you have to write the equation of this trick graph.